when you're testing, if a function's even, what that means is that it, it's symmetric about the y-axis, if you fold it over the y-axis. So even functions have y-axis symmetry, and odd functions have origin symmetry, meaning if you rotate them 180 degrees, you turn them half turn about the origin, like you're pivoting at the origin, they'll match with themselves. So even and odd is just another way of saying y-axis and origin symmetry. But what you do, the tests are a little bit different. So the tests here, you're replacing x with negative x, okay, in your function. So whatever's in the parentheses, negative x, you're gonna put that in place of x on the right. If you get back the original function, exactly like how the original function is, that tells you that it's even. If you replace x with negative x, and you get the same function back, the same terms, but all the signs are the opposite, okay, if they're positive, they're negative, if they're negative, they're positive, they're flipped, that tells you that it's odd and that it is a rotation about the origin, okay? So I'll show you some examples here. Let's take a look at this example. f of x equals 2x squared plus 4x to the fourth. If we put negative x in, okay, we're gonna get two negative x the quantity squared plus four times negative x to the fourth power. A negative to an even power is a positive. So we're just gonna get back two x squared, a negative to an even power, we're gonna get a positive x to the fourth. You can see we're getting back the original equation, exactly how the original one was. So that tells you that this graph is even. Okay, it has even symmetry and it's a reflection over the y-axis, but we just call this even, so this is the test for even, you're substituting a negative x. Same thing over here, we're gonna put negative x in place of x here on the right, and if we do that, we get a negative to an odd power, which is gonna be negative, so this works out to be negative five x cubed. It's exactly like the original function, but the sign here is the opposite, so that tells us that this is odd. Okay, so we have even for this one, odd for this one. Okay, now over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put negative x in place of x on the right side of the equation. So that gives us 2 negative x squared. Notice I put the negative x when I substitute in parentheses, so I take it as a, a whole, okay, as a group. A negative to an even power is positive, so that's giving us 2x squared. A negative times a negative is a positive, and then this is just positive one. So let's look at what happened here. This one stayed the same. See, two x squared, they're both positive. This one, it's the opposite. This was a negative three x, this is positive three x, and this is positive one. This one stayed the same. This equation is not the same as the original one, so it's not even, okay? The signs are not all the opposite. This would be negative two x squared, positive three x, negative one, so it's not odd. So this falls into the neither category, it's neither even or odd, which means it's not symmetric about the y-axis, it's not a rotation about the origin, it's just neither. So these are the tests for even and odd, similar in some ways to the uh, symmetry test we did for x-axis, y-axis, and origin. The approach is a little bit different. Uh, we're using the function notation and we're substituting negative x uh, into the equation. So go ahead and review this video if you uh, need to. Otherwise, I'll see you in uh, the next video.